Hi, I'm Alex Ronsley, and welcome to another edition of Three Things, the show where we take a look back at what you might have missed from the last set of seven and get you set for the week ahead. Let's get started. Thing you might have missed, number one, were the quartet of firsts from Sunday's game in Alberni against the Bulldogs. Now, not only did Hunter Finlay to score his first goal of the season, the game also saw Jeremy Leipzig, Kyle Betts, and Jack Long score their first goals in junior hockey. Here are the highlights. Kings control to the outside. Stevens, little back spin pass from McCarrick. Scored tonight, scored last night as well. Stevens did as well. Loose puck. Leipzig, he scores! First goal in the BCHL. It comes on the power play for Jeremy Leipzig. Some crumbs in front of the goal and able to stuff it home. And the Kings on the road for nothing. Two for charging. Scott Clark in the box. Fans don't like it. Long makes a confident take to take pass to Leipzig. Skates in across the line right side. Stops at the blue line. Leipzig. Pass to Long. Walks down. Slap shot. Scores! Happy 16th birthday for Jack Long. Makes it 5 0 with his first in junior hockey. Mullen. Leaves for Leclerc. Headman feed through the middle. Turnbull to go for a skate. Pokes it ahead for Betts. Has it lane to net. Backhand scores! Kyle Betts. First in the BCHL. Touchdown Pell River. And the Kings lead 7 to nothing. So that's three goals, but we did promise a quartet, so that brings me to item number two you might have missed, and that was some spectacular goaltending. On Sunday in Alberni, Stefan Wani compiled his first shutout in the BCHL and first clean sheet in around four years, stopping all 34 Alberni shots, also earning his first win of the season. Now, not to be outdone on the weekend, Jeff Smith notched his second win of the year Saturday in the Nymo. He stopped 45 of 48 Clippers shots. That's his second busiest night as a Powell River King, falling in just behind a 53-save performance against Merritt in November of 2013. That was a 1-1 tie. Here is just a sample of both Smith and Warnick from the weekend. Eight and a half remaining in a 7-0 hockey game. Kings, that length of time away from finishing the weekend on a high. His clock centers. Ah, oh, Warnick to his right. Jonas behind his own net. Backhand up the boards for Cameron. Was being watched by Hoover. He's got the big goal to make a 3-2 chance for the Clippers. Oh, Jeff Smith! Again, this time, out to his left. Thing you might have missed, number three, is the power play finally clicking. A man advantage that was just 2 for 13 coming into Friday's game in Duncan against the Capitals scored four times in 13 attempts since that game. As of this video, the Kings sit ninth in the league on the man advantage at 23.08%, a far cry from the 15%. The Kings were heading into action Sunday afternoon in Alberni. So what's to come? Here is just a few things to look forward to this week for the Power River Kings. Number one, the BCHL Showcase in Chilliwack. Now, the annual event will be held for the fourth consecutive year in the Fraser Valley at the Prospera Centre. Every team plays two games that count for regular season points in the standings. This year, the Kings will be the visiting team against the Coquitlam Express and the home side against the Surrey Eagles. Now, the purpose of the event is mainly exposure for the league and its players to the NCAA, CHL and NHL scouts that attend the event. It allows them to see all 17 teams in one venue at one time. Game times for the Kings are Thursday at 10 a.m. against the Express, then Friday at 1 p.m. against the Eagles. Both games live on the network, 95.7 Coast FM and Fast Hockey Pay-Per-View. Thing to look for, number two, special teams. The Kings will go up against a pair of teams this week with both power play and PK's efficiencies equal to or less than their own. Coquitlam's man advantage ranks last in the BCHL, 3.7%, just 1 for 27. The PK is at 75%. The Eagles on Friday head into the showcase, equal to the Kings on the kill at 86.67, but much less on the man advantage at 13.64. It is interesting to note that through four games so far, the Eagles have taken double the number of penalties than the Kings have taken in five games. Finally, thing to look forward to, number three of the distractions, or perhaps the management of them. The showcase is its own animal when it comes to off-ice distractions. A large portion of the crowd in attendance carry clipboards with college and pro logos on them. And they're scrutinizing every move on the ice of eligible players at the NCAA and pro levels. It's an intimidating atmosphere for players, especially in the tunnels after the game, 
where scouts are talking to players from the previous contest as the next game tries to get themselves ready. The Kings do have a little bit of an advantage here, kicking off the showcase at 10 a.m. on Thursday. There won't be a prior game and no frenzy around the rooms, at least until after 60 minutes worth of play. Again, the Kings are in Chilliwack this weekend for a pair of games against Coquitlam and Surrey at the BCHL Showcase. Both games are live on air, online, and on Fast Hockey. Our coverage begins 20 minutes before opening puck drop both days. Thank you so much for watching this week's edition of Three Things. I'm Alex Stronsley. We'll talk to you later on this week from the Prospera Center in Chilliwack, the site of this year's BCHL Showcase. Bye now.